Hello, hello, hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Uh, I'm gonna make this video and it's gonna correspond with a news story I saw yesterday. Uh, we have a restaurant here that's in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, it's called VOT. It's a restaurant, pretty much Caucasians frequent there. But uh, it was a disturbing news story that I come across yesterday and uh, a young lady who had only worked there about 10 days gets fired because she was joking about herself. Uh, she called, I guess she called it, she's light skinned apparently. And uh, I don't know what she said or what joke she said about herself. Uh, some Caucasians got offended that she used the word light skin. Well, that's what she is. What she she's light skin. So I don't understand why they would get offended. See this that kind of shit pisses me off because that's what happened exactly what happened to me on those jobs out there in trucking. A bunch of Caucasians finding a reason. If they couldn't find a reason, they made a reason to cause an altercation to cause some type of dispute, to cause some type of situation so they can turn around and terminate me. It happened at U.S. Express, Rising of Brothers, that Rising of Brothers made up the story. I don't even believe it was anybody that called in and told them about my video. I think it was just somebody at Rising of Brothers. It, it happened at every trucking company and it always these Caucasians. You're overstepping your boundaries and that color, uh, that, that color of yours, you, you, you're getting out of line and you're getting out of hand with it. This stuff y'all doing needs to stop. That old white supremacy mess needs to stop. Because we're sick of it. We're tired of it. How the hell some white folks get offended because the girl called herself light-skinned, which she is? Why are you offended about that? You made some type of hoopla and the girl got terminated. I'm going to post a link to it so you can see the story because... Uh, they protest and hear about that. The girl hadn't had the job, I think, but 10 days. And some white co-workers, there's always some co-workers starting some bullshit. And this happens in trucking. That's exactly what happened to me. It was Caucasians starting shit to get me terminated. Everything gonna be going wonderful. And then they start some bullshit. Rising of brothers. You terminate me because I made a video on my own YouTube about a safety issue. That was a safety issue. I can say anything I want to on my YouTube. Then you come tell, telling me somebody called you and alerted you. Who the hell in their right mind is so, what you the YouTube police? You want to alert my job of my videos. It was a bunch of bullshit. This is exactly what happens and exactly what goes on on these jobs. It happens here just today. A guy up at the tipper, he wants to start an altercation over getting on the CB to tell him, that is it okay to let the tipper up? And I'm looking dead at him. When the guys, all they do is ride by. If I don't see the guys on the bulldozer, I get on the, on the CB. Hey, okay, the, 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 let the tipper up. Then they usually come by on the bulldozer. If not, the, half the time they don't answer. So I don't even know why they tell us to get on the CB. I'll be saying, hey, okay, let the tipper up. They don't say shit. And then sometimes you can't even hear shit with that damn tipper. They sound like goddamn some fucking cartoon camera. I don't even know if you said up or down or what the fuck you said. So we just, I just wait till they come up there, point their finger up, let it up or let it down. But today one decides he wants to sit across and wave his, dangle his CB out his bulldozer for me to get on the CB to ask him, is it okay to let it up? And I'm looking right at the goddamn guy. And I'm pointing my finger up, and he's still waving the goddamn CB for me to tell him on the CB to let it up. Okay, and this is the same dude that had me wait 10 minutes yesterday. I was the last truck up there for him to finish bulldozing, okay, to clear a path for the other garbage trucks. Okay, that's that's no problem. But then he hold the finger up to my wait one more minute. I had to watch this guy take a drink out of something and then light a cigarette. I didn't think he was supposed to be lighting a cigarette on that gas-filled ass landfill. But he lit a cigarette in a bulldozer. Then he was ready for me to go ahead and let the tipper up. This guy never uses the CB. Every time I see him, he's riding by on the goddamn bulldozer, comes up there to scoop the trash and get ready to dump. And he's got the cell phone in one hand and he's operating the bulldozer with the other one. So I don't know what hell he was talking about today. He gets on the CB, tells me he's been having this conversation. 
conversation with me all the time. You ain't said a damn thing to me. What conversation you had? In your fucking mind, you thought you had a conversation? See, this is the exact shit that they do. And I'm getting tired of it. You are overstepping your boundaries. You letting that color of yours go to your motherfucking head. And we fucking sick of that goddamn shit. Stop starting these goddamn altercations. You ain't offended about shit. All you doing is trying to get black folks terminated. And I'm sick of it. This has happened repeatedly to me in trucking over the road. That's why I'm not out there now. Risinger was the last company that did the goddamn shit. And it's nothing but bullshit. They stand around and watch you and keep watch on you and seeing what you're doing, watching your clothes, putting shit in my truck. You are inciting the damn shit. Why in the hell did that girl get fired? Because she called herself light-skinned. Why in the hell would white folks get offended? Ain't you out here dating blacks? Don't you make light-skinned babies? So what the fuck are you probably, what the fuck are you getting offended for? Y'all need to stop that goddamn white supremacy shit. We tired of it. This color is tired of it. We tired of y'all and y'all motherfucking shit. Stop the bullshit. You better start getting along with everybody on this goddamn planet, no matter what the fuck color is. Ain't no one color ruling shit around here. And we're tired of your supremacy shit around here. And we're tired of you fucking with us, getting us fired, killing us, and every goddamn thing else you're doing. I'm tired of the shit. We got to live like you do. And you go around here and I'm, one lady made a comment on something. Or I see it on you on, on a comment to something that happened to somebody. I'm glad I'm not black. No, I'm glad I'm not white. Because I don't want to be with y'all history. Y'all history is fucking terrible. The shit you do to black folks is terrible. The shit we have to endure and tolerate from your race of people is fucking terrible. And I'm sick of the goddamn shit. Fucking bullshit ass white supremacy. You always want to say something when you need to be shut the fuck up. Leave shit alone. Quit inciting shit. Quit getting people fired. Because we're going to turn around and start suing your ass for that fucking shit. This dirty trucking, I'm out.